reporter Michael Bridge is there for us. Welcome to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Big game this afternoon between Tottenham Hotspur and Brighton and Hove Albion. Both teams chasing a top four finish. But one team not particularly happy at the moment. Another, things couldn't get any better. Well, to talk about Spurs is Spurs YouTuber Chris Carlin. Chris, Spurs could be in the top four. It just, it's all doom and gloom at the moment, isn't it? It's all doom and gloom at the moment. The fans are extremely unhappy. Um, of course, the Southampton game where Conte ended up leaving the football club. We should have got the three points there. Should have got the three points at Everton Monday night. Uh, the last 20 minutes were terrible. Uh, ended up getting Lucas Morris sent off. Last minute goal from Michael Keane. Uh, and it was a long, long trip home. Um, but we need to give absolutely everything today. Um, as Antonio Conte said earlier on the season, Spurs need a miracle to get in the top four again. But... We've got to get the best possible finish. What What is the issue? I mean, Conte's assistants are still here, apart from his brother. Is that a particular issue as well? Are you surprised Stellini's still here? Very surprised Stellini's still here. If I'm completely honest, you know, even on Monday night, the fans were singing Pochettino's name. I'm not saying Pochettino is the answer, but someone like Harry Redknapp or someone like Pochettino, a fan's favourite, I believe the last 10 Premier League games would have been far much better. This place would have been absolutely buzzing today had we got a fan's favourite in. With Stellini, it doesn't seem that much has changed whatsoever. The Everton game, not much has changed at all. The subs were really poor. Um, but this club needs direction. We need ambition. I can't believe as a Spurs fan that we've gone from Pochettino to Jose Mourinho and now Antonio Conte and not been successful, not had a trophy. We haven't seen a trophy here for 15 years. Um, the next decision is absolutely vital. The ball must get this right. I feel like we've said this a couple of times in recent years, but this is an absolute must. This club needs to be going in the right direction again. You know, these fans deserve better. We're paying a lot of money for season ticket prices. Uh, people like me go home and away. Um, and we deserve better. We deserve better quality football. Um, we deserve the players giving a lot more. Finally, how do you see the game going? So I've got... You know, for Spurs fans, if, if Brighton take the lead, I'm not sure about the atmosphere inside there. This is going to be a very, very difficult game. Brighton um, plays some super attractive football under De Zerbe. Um It's going to be difficult. We need to get an early goal to, to settle the nerves. The fans are very frustrated. They're, you know, a lot of them are very angry at the moment. Uh, three points is an absolute must. Chris, thank you very much. Yes, big, big game for Tottenham Hotspur and Brighton Hove Albion. Stay with us on Sky Sports News. We'll have an early bit of team news in the next hour. So Tottenham Hotspur take on Brighton today in the Premier League. It's going to be a very difficult game, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Spurs win. Jason, give me your score prediction. Oh, this could be a tough game. 2-1 Tottenham Hotspur today. Leif? What? Score prediction? 1-2 uh, to Brighton. 5-2. Score prediction? Oh, 2-1 us. Got to be, innit? 2 1 us, definitely. 3 1 us. 3 1. Score prediction? Score prediction? 4 0. Tottenham. Sit Tottenham, are you sure? He's still on medication.
Yeah. We need a water for the team. Who do you think will do it? Big win today at home, uh, really tough tough game against a good side in Brighton, uh, so we had to do, do, do these at times, uh, but overall, you know, we had our good chances and uh, we took one there in the second half. Uh, also, big congrats to Sonny Boy, uh, amazing to reach 100 Premier League goals, he should be extremely proud and we're all proud of him, so uh, yeah, massive moment for him and what a goal to do it as well. So. Uh, fantastic day, uh, really proud of everyone uh, and let's keep it going. We've got eight more games to, to really push and fight uh, and we need everyone. So uh, let's enjoy this one and get ready for next week. Man, many times, many times uh, we had uh, to accept what VAR said and if we go back we have, we have maybe four times uh, that we can uh, discuss what VAR did. We didn't discuss in the past. We didn't. We don't want to discuss now. And what VAR and the referee uh, does uh, is like uh, everything. Stay into the pitch. Finish now. No, no argument. Uh, we have to play football. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.
But um, I'm used uh, always to respecting everyone uh, inside inside of the pitch and outside of the pitch, uh, and I don't like when the people uh, uh, don't respect me. But uh, there are normal situations in football, and um, stop. Uh, it's personal things, no? No, no, I always uh, respect everyone, especially the coaches. And I can't answer, f I can't, I can't answer for me, not for him.